Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs. My growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And um, if you have been watching me for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Um, the video I'm making right now is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka is making choices of being bold and finally doors are open, opening for you just because of that. You know, um, a lot of things we have gone through in life. Um we we based it our path our directions our choices by the things we went through before you know what we feared before what we you know we went against ourselves for you know a lot of times we are our own worst enemy we are our own worst critic you know and a lot of times we when we did that you know we we always thought to ourselves you know universe is always telling us to never live in regret you know, you don't know what you're fully capable of if you didn't allow yourself to step out of that box of what was comfortable with you before. Because a lot of times if you read numbers, you know, um, like I do, and you read the angel numbers, it's like, what is this angel number trying to tell me? Or, you know, what is this trying to tell me? Um, it, it'll always, you know, there'll always be that one that'll tell you, hey, you know, step out your comfort zone. Um, don't allow your choices in the way you do things and way you see things based on your past, you know, based on um, your failures, your mistakes, your hurt, your pain. And then, you know, we go through that sequence. We lived on that sequence for so long, you know, um, that we became comfortable with that. Because a lot of times it's just like I've, I've talked to them one on one with my friends. It's like it's all about universe telling you to step out your comfort zone. I'm like, hell, I ain't comfortable here. You know, you, you know what I go with. You know what I deal with every day. And then you're you're so fixated on that. It's like, you know, uh, what do they mean? Step out my comfort zone. What do, what do they tell me? You tell me do these bold choices and you know do something different. You know, never live in regret. And then you're trying to fixate so hard on that. And a lot of times when we stay focused on that, we we cloud our own judgment because of you know how we were perceived before. You know what what mistakes we had, what went against us. Um, what setbacks we constantly had, you know, what struggles, what burdens we had, what pain we're dealing with. And the their meaning of that is just being able to step out and do something different. You know, if you lived in a certain sequence and a certain vibe for so long, that's what you got comfortable with. And that's what my opinion is, is that what they were talking about. When you base your decisions on what has happened to you in the past, a lot of times that's what we, we don't realize that's where our biggest mistake is. You know, making choices based on what happened before. But then it's just like they want us to be able to learn the lessons from it. What, what did you deal with before? Did you, did you seek approval from other people or did you allow yourself to be bold and, you know, not play small? You know, when, when they give you that opportunity to voice yourself on how you choose to see things, how you choose to do things different, you know, did you allow yourself to speak up? Or did you stay quiet? And even though you had it in your head, you didn't project that out to other things. You know, and a lot of times we, we we have a voice when we feel like we're being angered or we're not being appreciated or, you know, when we're not being accepted or when somebody's, you know, hitting below the belt. We can get bold like that. And we get, end up being prideful, speaking through fear, speaking through anger, you know, all those negative, you know, narratives. And then it's just like, why don't you, instead of using it for that, use it for when, you know, when you see that your boundaries are being crossed. When you feel like, you know, if somebody's not appreciating you, appreciate yourself to do a bold decision by allowing yourselves to um, do something different. You know, allowing yourself to know, you know, I choose to be happy. Those are the choices I'm making. I'm being bold to be able to step out and do things differently by, you know, changing how I see things. You know, you know what your purpose is. And a lot of times, well, let me not say that, you know, a lot of us know what our purpose is. Some of us are still trying to find that. Shoot, I still try to find it within myself at times. You know, am I doing the right thing? Am I saying the right thing? Or, you know, I don't want, you know to allow myself to be basing what I say on different things that I've gone through and using that as that stepping stone. It's just like, 
being able to use that towards self is like, okay, I'm allow myself to move forward. I'm going to allow myself to be bold in what I choose to allow myself to be, you know, in, in a positive frame of mind. Am I moving through this, you know, use what I went through before as being a prime example for myself to change my actions, change how I, I voice myself. You know, if it's coming from a place from the heart, oh yeah, you allow yourself to keep doing that. But allowing yourself to speak from the soul, you know, you want peace, you want love in, 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 in life, you know, understanding, unity. You know, um, just being able to accept people for who they are, you know, good or bad, you know, and you have to be able to do that. You know, we, we place a lot of judgment on others as well as ourselves, you know, and um, it's, it's just like there'll be times that I go back and look at my videos because it could be myself, my inner self. And then it's just like when there's that vibe I feel and it's just like, dag, it's coming from a place of peace, you know. Because it was just like before, you know, I, I, I taught my stuff and, you know, lived through it. But then it would be based off of things I would talk about because of the pain that I went through. But then if I can allow myself to switch that up by being able to, yeah, this is what I went through. But this is how I want to move forward. You can move forward by allowing yourself to use what you had as an example on what not to do if you see that that led you down a place that you were like Ugh, i kind of regret it what i said you know because that's why they always tell us to be mindful be very discern discerning about how we speak on different things and it's like well my platform is just like it's not saying that i have to be selective about what i talk about but just i'm representing myself you know i have to be able to come from a piece if i want other people to be able to look at their life and being able to say, you know, yeah, we went through this. You know, we went through a, a lot of stuff, a lot of things that people don't know what we went through. But, you know, being able to use that as an example of not seeking validation, not seeking pity or anything like that, but understanding where that person came from because you may be able to relate from that person. But see how that negative situation, that negative vibration frequency that they were on, they use that to flip the script up for themselves to be able to move through that in a positive well-being, you know, positive manner, you know, positive representation, because we are all our own billboard of how we carry ourselves. It's not about how we are seen, because, you know, a lot of people see you in different ways. There will be people that'll, that will be bold, like, tag, you know, I like the vibe that they're projecting out. They're being very real. You know, they're allowing people to know, yeah, they made mistakes. They did things. They said things out of hurt, anger, you know, pride, ego. But then they use those different things as an example on what not to do anymore, you know, and being able to do that, you know, it, it's a beautiful thing. It's a peaceful thing, you know, because there'll be times like I'll go back and I'll watch my videos. Like if I feel stuck in something and they'll be like, dang, you know, that was my higher self speaking, you know, that was speaking through the soul. But then there'll be different times where I'll, you know, critique myself. I was like, Ugh, I don't like the quality of that video. Ugh, I don't like how I said that. And, you know, being able to allow myself to switch that up, you know. So it was just like being able to do that, you have to be bold, you know. And when you can allow yourself to go back, that's why I tell a lot of times people, if you have a laptop or, you, you know, on your phone where you got those special apps where you can leave, like, um, it's like you leaving your own uh, visual diary to yourself and remember that moment of where you were in pain. Remember that moment when you were heavy in anguish. You know, you, you were all through your burdens and you were speaking your mind to yourself. And then you can go back. Because a lot of times when we can be dealing with a lot of different things based on our choices, we can see what kind of vibration we were at that point. It, could you have been better? Yeah, you could have. You can always get better, you know. Um, could you, did you, did you, you remember what you were feeling at that time? You may have been hurt. You may have been struggling in some kind of way. It could be family-wise. It could be emotionally, mentally-wise, spiritual. Because a lot of stuff we're dealing with right now is spiritual. You know, even though we're living in a human experience, you know, we're still spiritual beings. You know, we're up here on this, you know, on this platform of the world, you know, trying to create change within ourselves. And a lot of times it's hard to do that when we have been at a certain frequency for so long. Because there's a lot of times we can be bold on certain things and then be very quiet about another one. 
And, you know, and it's just like when I look at my different videos and I can go back and just like, well, mm, I could have been a little bit better with myself. Or, yeah, I shouldn't have said that the way I said it. And now it's just like, you know, when you're allowing yourself to really speak at the heart, you know, and that's why I keep on saying speak from the heart. You know, um, being able to say, yeah, there's a lot of mistakes that I've gone through, but I'm also righting my wrongs. You know, being able to do that, you can speak well, how, having to keep on allowing yourself to loop through that pain, loop through that negativity, and being able to say, you know what, I went through this, but then it's just like I have other things that I can talk about. Not You can be in that, that manner, but you don't have to go in detail because it's like when you go in detail like that, you're allowing yourself to go back right back in that sequence again. And that's where universe is like, that's where you mess up. You know, when you can allow yourself to see where you were at one frame of mind and be just like, you know what, I was coming from a bad place at that time. And you being honest with yourself, you were coming from a very bad place at that time. And just being able to say, you know what? Let me allow myself to flip the script on my own self. Let me challenge myself. Can I, you know, can I have a video where not thinking about a certain individual or, you know, a certain sequence that I went through that was very hurtful, very sad, or whatever. Being able to use this and say, you know what? I went through a lot of things just like everybody else. You know, um, there'll be different things that was hard for me to deal with, like everybody else. But how can I use this situation to make me be bold enough to make choices on how I can change this for myself? You know, having more confidence in yourself, having more self-acceptance, you know, because a lot of times we, we do things and we are like, oh, you know, how did they see me? Or, oh, do you know if they believe me? Or do you feel like that I've really been hurt? Is somebody accepting me? And they were just like, when you allow yourself to accept yourself and say, you know what, I'm challenging myself every day. You know, I, I could be having all these different things going wrong in my life, but allow me to say, yeah, this is going on in my life, but am I going to allow something that's out of my hands, out of my control to rule how I'm going to have my day? You know, and it, a lot of times we, we can allow ourselves to get stuck in that sequence. And that's not, you know, that's really not good. <laughs> it's like, it's really not good, you know, but you're allowing yourself to really change up and be bold about that. And it's like when you allow yourself to switch up and really step out the box, really step out the box and be basing your decisions on, you know what, I want to be happy. You know, even though there's a lot of things maybe going around me I don't like, I'm not going to allow that to change on where I choose to be happy at. You know, if these are the certain things that I know this out of my control, if I put my all into it and it's still, you know, not changing, why don't I allow universe to, you know, keep helping me make those bold situ situate, sit, sit, mm, examples from that situation and make that be something that can get me over that hump. Because a lot of times we can get stuck in that vibration over things that's just not going right. You know, and it's just like, okay, it, did I put my try into it? Did I do my all? Did I do what I could, you know, to work hard to get out of that and it's still happening? Then you'll allow yourself to say, well, maybe this is something that was supposed to happen for me to be able to change how I continue to do things. And that's what they're talking about when they're telling you to step out the comfort zone. You know, take a risk. You know, you try to, try to do things differently than what you're used to before. And I was just like, wow, you know what? Y'all all right. You really are all right. And I'm like, dang, all right. And get it. Made me think about one of the memes I put up. It's like when you're higher self in the university, that you took yourself out of that repeating cycle, that repeating loop. You know, and being able to understand is just like real cool. Like, bravo, bravo. And you have to be able to do that. You know, and a lot of times it's really hard. It's really hard to step out of that sequence. But when you're allowing yourself to say, I'm going to challenge myself by allowing myself to speak positivity into my life. You know, uh, even when things are not going the way I planned, let me allow myself to move boldly through consciousness of some kind of positivity instead of going through that through negative, negative, you know, uh, you know, surroundings, you know, things that are happening that are totally out of my control, you know, and just allowing myself to move forward. And it's just like when we allow ourselves to challenge ourselves like that every day, it's like find something, you know, we, we could be critics about ourselves in a very harsh way. And when you allow yourself to make that challenge, it's like, why don't I, you know, when I see so many negative things about myself, why don't I accept the things that are beautiful about me? Why, you know, allow myself to see myself in the beautiful vibration that I'm in 
and being able to project that, you know. And this is like a lot of times, it's, you know, when I look at different videos where people are doing what I'm doing, and I can see how that person is really going through some stuff, but then they're using that as a stepping stone to be able to show people, yeah, I've been through this, yeah, I've been through that, but I had to be able to change up how I seen things. I had to be able to change up how, you know, I went about my day, you know, and that's where, that's where the boldness comes from. If we can allow ourselves to, to move through different things and you can tell somebody, yeah, I'm going through this, that, and a third, but am I allowing myself to base off my decisions on what is going on around me unless it's in a positive, you know, format within myself? And that's why when I look at other people that do that, I'm like, dang, you know, I can see myself like that, you know. And a lot of times, you know, it was hard for me to be able to do that because I would see it and then I would do it and then it would be a whole totally different situation later. But now it's at that point when I allow myself to really self-assess and being able to say, you know, you've gone through different things and you see your frequency changing because you'll know the frequency is changing with you because there'll be certain things that's going on in your life and it'll feel very uncomfortable. And it'll be that point like you, you're you feeling from your intuition. Be happy. Be at peace. We know things are going on around you, but why are you basing your feelings on how you go about your day? on things that you're not, that, that's going wrong. Why can't you go about your day and say, I, I'm allowing myself to step out of that because it's something I can't change. But I can allow this to change me for a positive vibration. Allow that to change me to something that I can nourish myself with. And being able to use that as that comfortable of being uncomfortable. These things are changing. We cannot, you know, change is inevitable. We, we can't hold on to that. We have to be able to use you know, not being able to use, but being able to set example for ourselves. You know, because um, I tell people, you don't know who you're inspiring. You don't know who um, is evaluating their life based off of something that you're doing. And it's just like with me, I have my platform where, you know, I'm, I'm in the media. You know, I do different things on that because I want to be able to make a positive purpose in my life. And I can be able to show that with other people, how you can make a positive choice with of change in your life because it's like when nobody's perfect you know and I tell people you know if I'm I'm gone for a while it's just to recharge it's just to rejuvenate it's just to heal you know being able to change up my vibration to create better in my life you know I want to be able to heal the best way I know how but I can't heal if I'm allowing myself to stay in that sick vibration constantly you know and they're always telling you um to allow yourself to, sorry y'all, it was like I found that short, one of those short, uh, <laughs> short, uh, what's the names on there, um, short meditation, so it ended and I forgot to go ahead and loop it back. But, you know, going through all of those different, different situations, it's just like when you allow yourself to make those bold, bold choices and being able to say, you know what, let me allow myself to just, you know, move forward, you know, being able to switch what I talk about, being able to, you know, change my point of view on my perspective. You know, not base it off off of things that I've gone through, but even though you can you can use that example, you don't have to go into detail, you know, about everything. Cause not everybody needs to know word for word, you know, about what you have gone through, what what you have uh faced. And um, you know, going through that you can just use this just like I I've gone through abuse. I've gone through you know, uh, diversity, I've gone through th different things that constantly, you know, went against me. But let me allow myself, instead of going into detail about that, just being able to say, you know what, we all gone through different things in our life. And there's a lot of things that we have faced and um, that a lot of people would be scared to face because there's a lot of things we have achieved. There's a lot of things we overcome, even though we're not exactly where we want to be at. You are far more who you were. Uh, you changed a lot within yourself than you were when you first started. When you were bold enough to go against opening up um, to a whole new different world that you aren't used to, that's when you made that bold choice of being able to change. But we already knew when we faced that change and different things, it, it'd be like, Ugh. you know, I don't know. It'd be like bold this minute, this you know, be scared the next. But this is just like, they want you to be, even though you're scared, be bold. And when you notice that doors start opening for you, it's just like, yeah, we know as long as you're taking it day by day, it doesn't happen overnight. 
But when you allow yourself to take that on a daily, being able to change on the daily, being able to, you know, speak something kind about yourself every day. That's why I meant to say a few minutes ago, you know, when you're seeing yourself in that negative way, being able to challenge yourself by making bold, like, you know, I'm allowing myself to see myself in a different vibration. When I see myself differently in a positive way, it's easy. You know, it's so easy to speak negative about yourself. It's so easy to speak negative about your surroundings. But just being able to say, you know what? Yeah, my surroundings is very challenging with me, you know. But I'm allowed that to make me something different, you know, something more positive and being able to do that. So when you're allowing yourself to be bold, be bold. But be bold and take risks when you can know you can play something positive in your life. You don't know where it's going to take you. You can always hope for the best. Don't expect the worst, but hope from the best. And even if you do, you're learning so many different lessons in that way when we choose to make different choices about how we move forward. So hopefully, I'm, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of that video, y'all. Sorry about me being quiet because it's like, it's like almost 2 o'clock in the morning here. I don't, I don't feel asleep. Have me a good nap. And I was like waking up. I'm like, you know what? I want to make some more videos. So I hope you're able to enjoy this. I hope you can be able to seek some kind of insight about this about yourself. You know, you're going through a moment of change. And change can be very difficult at times. But this is that time to be able to take risks, being able to see your life in a different way. You know you can create something. If you can see your life being different, that means you can be able to make it your reality. So allow yourself to base your choices on what good can come out of your life, not by the things you're surrounding that makes it go bad. So, you know, hopefully you're able to resonate with that. I would love to give a post notification shout out to um, Jessica Walton. Much love to you. As, uh Pen fruit thoughts. Welcome to the fam. Good to have you in St. Anger. Much love to you. And you'll see me on my different video. I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. And um, it's all about spiritual networking. A lot of people hit me up one-on-one -on -one when they're going through different things or they're experiencing things or wanting to know no normal. I'm like, y'all stop asking me anything about normal. We are not built on normal. We are not built on average. We are built on extreme. You know, there's nothing that we go through. I mean, well, there's things that may seem crazy, <laughs> you know, but it's not. It is it we we there's nothing normal about us basically <laughs> going through that. So it is like I tell people to hit me up. If you don't feel comfortable with talking about it amongst the, the tube of you, I understand that. A lot of people just hit me up and I try my best to be able to help them out the best way I know how. And what we speak on is confidential. So, you know, go ahead and hit me up. I always leave my contact information out at the bottom. You know, so spiritual networking, being able to give you a deeper understanding about your purpose. And even through, uh, you know, uh, social distancing, make sure you about love, like positivity, words, by frequencies. You just never know. All those things really take my a long way. And whatever you're manifesting in your life, even if it's going to you in the hardest way, knowing it can have beautiful outcomes. And it can, a lot of times it, it can be more than what you expected. So keep on going. You will never know unless you try. And it'll be sooner than you expected. And I'll, you'll see me on my next video. Much love. Peace.